the Midlands Grand National. We're just doing these calls on the fly here. Uh, presenting Jane up the topes. Up the top is an even money favourite for Ghost Zappa Stable. Got Marie Antoinette, Bird, Bertolini, uh, Under Pressure, Funkier, Dunawan, all the By the Rivers of Babylon, Botus, Joala, Scarlet, Laes, Esprit, and Lately Iota for Darren Howes. They're set and racing. So I didn't see how far, yeah, this is a long one, so it would be at least two laps, you would think, of the course. I'm quite clueless, as you all can gather, about a lot of these English tracks. And their sizes and everything. And they come to the first of 24. And they've already spread out straight away, and the favourite is leading pre-race favourite you think at even money it would start it would be the race favourite and uh, Marie Antoinette is second they come to the water third is by the rivers of Babylon lately Iota and under pressure and then we've got Dunawan All and Joala Scarlet just going for a walk Bertolini, Funkia, Botus, and Laes Esprit. Over the next. What have we got? A field of 11. And the rolling countryside here. A little bit like some of the country racetracks in Australia. Walking through it there was uh, the, by the rivers of Babylon. That's been joined by lately Iota. Well, the Australian tracks, these country tracks, are green during winter and brown during summer. And there's a few tracks out in the middle of nowhere where they don't even have running rails. They just have, they just mowed, they mow the track sort of thing. And we've lost a jockey there, and that's lately Iota. So they mow the track, and this the, the scrubby bit of land inside of it all is what represents the rails. Up and over the next. And we got presenting Jane just leading comfortably from Marie Antoinette by the rivers of Babylon third a few lengths away under pressure done and all Joala Scarlet Botus Funky Elias Esprit as they take that one and uh, Bertolini is there as well over the next they go they run down the home stretch here and maybe there's another couple of laps to go actually past the winning post for the first time Martin was unavailable for most of this week's racing due to work commitments so, so you're stuck with me and Stu Interesting col horse colour of lately Iota, isn't it? It's like a very, very dark grey. It's ah, interesting. Anyway, the the field, the pack, main field is catching up to these first two. They come to the water and presenting Jane has been headed now by Marie Antoinette and by the rivers of Babylon moves up to be on the outside to almost make a line of three then about two and a half back to under pressure uh, Dunno and all, Bertolini, Funkier, Botus, Joala Street down towards the fence and Les Esprit and we've lost another by the rivers of Babylon is out so that's bad luck Moliet so that was your only runner. They 
take the next. And they round this uh, sweeping bend here. So it's Marie Antoinette just with the head in front of presenting Jane. Two and a bit away to under pressure. So they take the 13th and it was not unlucky for anyone. Bertolini is fourth from Dunham and all. Laes Spree. Funkier Botus and Joalus Scarlet. So they take the ditch. And over the 15th. And the 16th, and up and over they get. Down past the big screen and winning post. And that'll sign that there's a lap to go. So you get your money's worth sitting in the stands here, seeing them go around a few times. Average size track really, about 2,000 metres in circumference. So it's presenting Jane now retaking the lead. It's a, around a length clear, all oh, walking through it. Marie Antoinette lost a length there at least. Almost joined by a stable mate under pressure. Bertolini is a little closer with Botus. Then we've got Dunawan all funkier. And the commentator's horses at the tail there with Laesa Spree and Joala Scarlet. So they come on down to the water. And presenting Jane, I think, will be a bit hard to beat. The only thing that's going to go against it here is the weight. And I don't think it's an even weight race. As so they take the 19th. And it's presenting Jane. Botus now cruises up into second. Under pressure. Out wide a done and all. So come on down to the next. Oh, we've lost another one there. It's crashed out or dropped the jockey. And that was under pressure. We've lost three. No one's been pulled up yet. But uh, going for home now is presenting Jane. That's starting to open up at the four furlong. My horse at the tail, Joala Scarlet's dropping off. Probably get pulled up. Uh, Botus is doing all right. They go take the next. Up and over they go. And the field is bunching a little. I think it's just going to come down for a race to sort of second to third. Dwyla Scarlet has been pulled up. So they come to the 22nd. And up and over they go. And it's presenting Jane from Botus, Bertolini, Dunham and all, Marie Antoinette and Les Spree. They come to the second last. They've all jumped that well. They come down to the furlong pole. It's only it's between presenting Jane and Botus. The last jump could uh, dictate the race, the finish of it, and it doesn't. And it's presenting Jane. It's clear it's going to win. And it comes on down to the line. And presenting Jane's one from Botus. Bertolini held on for third. A real staying test. So congratulations, John, with presenting Jane. Uh, second was Botus for F1 Folus. Third, Bertolini. Fourth, Leas Esprit.